Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol VTNL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday, but want to get things updated here uh, as the, the, the pullback has continued. So from the overall sense, the chart has lost some attractiveness. Now, before you start throwing stones at me, there's a big difference between losing attractiveness and being totally ruined. Is the chart totally ruined? No, it's not. But the chart has lost some attractiveness. And if you've watched my past videos, you probably know exactly why that's the case and what I'm going to talk about next. But the losing attractiveness has to do with this purple line. As I've said time and time again in past videos, hey, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls are in full control. Well, the price is no longer above that purple line. And not only that, the price, after breaking through it, continue to separate to the downside. So you can no longer sit here and say that the bulls are in full control. Now, have they lost all control? No, but they're not in full control like they were when the price was cruising up above that purple line. So yeah, the chart has lost some attractiveness and the, the quickest way to get back on track is to get back up above that purple line. And this is all just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, uh, they tend to act as resistance. So it's not like it has to get above there tomorrow or anything like that. But as far as you know, the current area of resistance that you wanna see the price get back up above, that's all about the purple line now, which is that 50 period simple moving average. What about areas of support? If this pullback continues, where are some of these potential, uh, potential bounce points? Initial area to watch for is gonna be this previous breakout area, and that sits right at about 0023. So 0023, that near term level of support, and then after that, it becomes the muscled level, and the muscled level is that pink line, uh, the very famous 200 period simple moving average. And you know that's one of those where if the price breaks below that and then continues to separate to the downside, at that point, the bears would now be in full control. But as it stands right now, the price is, isn't even close to that pink line. Uh, but you know that is definitely you know that muscle level of support going forward. But as it stands right now, 0023 is uh, you know that nearer term level that as a, at this point in time hasn't even been tested. So the week is young, still four days left. We'll see how things continue to unfold. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.